Fear 2 DLC Reborn. You are a replica soldier and you are given special orders by Paxton Fettel. And that's basically the story. You do accomplish something in this, but it seems like you could have accomplished it in much less time if it weren't this kind of filler. Yeah, this took me about an hour and a half to complete. And it's it's okay, but it, it's very much a discount version of the full. And there's almost no new content. The there's the story feels like just it's it's a missing chapter out of the overall story, but there's no new twisted backstory or anything. And the storytelling isn't particularly compelling. The the it's also part of the story that is not really retold in the other ones when not everyone is going to have played. You know, the second game doesn't retell all of the first game, but if you're playing the second game, there's a chance you did play the first already, or you could at least go back and replay it. Not everyone's going to get this DLC that wasn't received particularly well because it didn't deserve to be received particularly well. The enemies, guns, you know, they are they are the same as in the second one and they behave the same as they do in the second one. The only new content here is these levels and then, you know, this kind of thing of you get to play as a replica, but it plays the exact same, you know, for Bioshock 2 gets a lot of flack and it deserves a lot of it, but at least it did you know, you're playing as a very distinctly different, you know, in, yeah, in the first one you are a person, in the second one you're a big daddy. That's a big difference. You know, in the the third game you get to play as Paxton Fettel. Big difference. Here, you know, I'm, it, it didn't have to offer up some exciting new experience, but it seems like it could have, and it just doesn't. It and and you know somehow you can use you can slow down time. If the replicas, is is it just this one replica? And if so, why only the one? If the others can, then why do you never see them do it? Yeah, the the level design is okay. The the, the developers made the levels more vertical and more open compared to the rest of the series, and that is decent enough thing. There's, you know, you do get to fight in a mech for less than 10 minutes. You do get to man a turret for less than 2 minutes. You fight at least one mech, not in your own mech, but yeah. You visit the otherworldly place a few times, although that doesn't make up for the fact that the game is never scary. Yeah. There's, there's this bit of one of the levels where you're in this kind of overturned building for two minutes or so, that's an okay bit, but yeah, it's just if you really want every single part of the overall story, you know, you can get this. Definitely don't get it unless it's really substantially discounted. And yeah, you you probably don't need to play this. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this franchise, the links are in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.